let's talk about Mahindra Singh Dhoni and Virat Kohli. They're very different uh, from each other in terms of how they're captains. Are they different at all uh, as clients? Um, they're completely different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're completely different. Um, both of them, I started working on them as young boys. Mm -hmm. So I actually got to see them grow up. Um, and at one point, I had to make a decision because uh, they both were in the same team. So their holidays were at the same time. So the right. shoots would come at the same time. Right. And I could not possibly go for both the shoots. So it ha I had to finally decide and pick one. I picked uh, Mahi only because I was with Mahi a bit longer. Mm -hmm. um, and so I just thought that I, you know, owe my allegiance to him. Right. And so I had to kind of let go of, uh, of Virat. Mm -hmm. um, but still, we are great friends and still, like, I still work on him offbeat, you know, like, I just gave him a haircut recently at a shoot and stuff. But um, they are completely different. I think that uh, Virat is lots more outgoing, um, very confident. Mm -hmm. um, when he was much younger, maybe a little overconfident. Mm -hmm. uh, Mahi, on the other hand, is very gentle, very soft-spoken. Um, very shy. Uh, he, he quite uh, yeah. You have you have to kind of break that barrier to uh -huh. actually find out what a chatterbox he really is. Uh -huh. But most people don't get that. You know right, what I mean? Right. Yeah. Who do you think is pickier of the two? Who has more requirements in terms of uh, their hair and how? Virat. For Virat. Sure. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Virat <laughs> is very on it when it comes to trends and always wants like the latest, this, that, that. Mm -hmm. uh, Mahi, on the other hand, is very simple in his approach and he just tells me, you know what, if I don't look good, you don't look good. Do you think uh, Mahindra Singh Dhoni or Virat Kohli have their hair insured by any chance? Uh, I don't know, but I have a lot of Mahindra Singh Dhoni's hair, <laughs> a collection. Maybe one day when I am retired, I can sell it and, you know, Pack up and call right. it a day. Yeah, you can sell mine. Buy a mansion or something. Oh. <laughs> I have a load. I have loads of his stuff actually. Oh, you do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should probably put up an auction. <laughs> Not yet. I don't need it yet. Let me uh -huh. retire a little bit. <laughs> Maybe then. Do you think either one of them is superstitious at all? Especially anything that they've probably told you in terms of. No, they are not. I am. Uh, okay. With Mahi, I'm very superstitious. If I give him a cut and I feel he's looking damn hot, I do like a full auntie move where I get a, a black kajal and I put a black dot <laughs> behind his ear. At every shoot, I do that. It's quite uh, weird, but he's not um, at all, um, really. He doesn't have rings and, you know, like. We're, Right, right. Ring de Basanti in yeah, our country. Yeah. <laughs> we have 50 rings on each hand yeah. for some evil or the other. Right. Yeah, he's, he's none of that. He's, yeah. All right. Let's talk about Virat Kohli's beard. It's, yeah. it's, it's seen a huge evolution. His entire <laughs> look has seen a huge evolution. What do yeah. you have to say about that? Um, I'm not a really big fan of big, big beards. I feel stubble is sexy. Mm -hmm. um, I feel with, uh, with Chiku as well, like he has really worked so hard on his body and to get into shape and you know he's lost his cute little baby fat that he used to have yeah, and he yeah. used to work on him and he's become so chiseled that i feel that beard kind of just kind of takes it away from all that you know right so but he plays around so much yeah beard today gone tomorrow that's just him so do you think virat kohli started the evolution of undercuts in india um it was him or I think it was Mahi. Yeah. I think we did, uh, yeah, undercut on Mahi first. I'm really sorry to break that bubble. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, so we, now we know it's Mahindra Singh Dhoni. Yes. <laughs> With hair, I think everyone that describes Dhoni um, or writes anything, it's always his whole career is broken down by his hair. Right. So imagine what a big part hair played with with. Dhoni, right, what a big part you played with his hair. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that also. I'm just trying to be modest here. But <laughs> Giving yeah. credit where credit due. <laughs> All right, we, I have a rapid fire and I'm going to ask you these questions and you need to pick uh, one of the two options or just answer oh. as fast as you can. I'll try. Okay. So, who has the better man bun? Ishant Sharma or KL Rahul? Man bun should just go. It should go. Yeah. <laughs> who has the better shaved head? Pogba or Andre Russell? Ooh, Andre Russell. Messi's golden hair or Gail's golden beard? None. <laughs> no colored hair. None. <laughs> Mohawk or undercut? Mohawk. Your preference for men, clean shaven or bearded? Stubbled. Who carries the salt and pepper look better, Dhoni or George Clooney? Dhoni all the way. <laughs> if only he would show it more though. Yeah. The three favorite haircuts you like on Mahindra Singh Dhoni? 
Um, how should I even break them up? There are so many of them. But I think when we had the mohawk going and once for IPL, mm -hmm. uh, I gave him like this really severe mohawk, which was like this striped thing, mm -hmm. which is from the army actually. I think that has to be my hands down most drastic thing that we have done on Mahi. Yeah. Three favorite haircuts of yours from Virat Kohli. Uh, Virat, I think we really, I really liked his younger uh, spikiness that we used to do, uh -huh. which was like uh, very specific also. Long here, short here, one longer here. It used to be like this, like measured. Um, and then, of course, his stripes that started coming. That, that was a big trend that he started. Mm. Right, that. Yeah. right. Uh, one Indian cricketer you'd like to style? I've actually worked on all of them uh -huh. uh, and so there's not really any that um, is left on my list. Yeah. <laughs> and one Indian cricketer you think is in desperate need of a makeover? I would not say that about any cricketer I think because their main goal is to play the game. Uh -huh. This is so shallow it just comes and goes. I say that as a hairdresser too but and that's what I love about them is that uh, with Mahi his never style his hair when he plays. Right. Never. It's only for shoots that you will see him with his hairstyle. Even in his personal space, he just hangs because it's <laughs> not about that. I mean, none of these people, it's not about the way they look. It's right. about what they are doing. Well, on that note, thank you so much for thank speaking you. to us and joining us. It was an yeah. absolute pleasure having you. Thanks a lot. Thank Thanks. you.